Star Wars Episode 9 is currently filming over in Cardington, Pinewood, and other areas around the world as we get closer and closer to the end of filming for Episode 9 by February of 2019. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, we do know that a lot of characters are going to be introduced in this movie, which honestly has a lot of fans, including myself, a little bit concerned that a total of eight new characters are coming into play here for Episode 9, which, by the way, they could all be grouped up together in one scene in order to save up a lot of screen time, you know, for characters like Rey and Kylo Ren and some of the legacy characters like Lando Calrissian coming back into this story. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. And I really wanted to focus in on one of the characters, of course, being Rey and Kylo Ren. We also have new details about both Poe Dameron, Finn, and of course Chewbacca, as well as Lando Calrissian and of course Maz Kanata. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, specifically about these characters. Now, what's really interesting about all of this is that Daisy Ridley is set to film an intense sequence with Adam Driver and the male actors in their 20s, codenamed The Knights. The scene is said to be the beginning of an intense lightsaber battle between both Kylo Ren and Rey with the Knights of Ren fighting Rey's crew and herself during the fight in the background. Tons of rubble will be added to the set as well as pyrotechnics. Oscar, John, and Yunus Watamo as Finn, Poe, and Chewbacca will also be a part of an action sequence that will pair up with the scene between Rey and Adam Driver. Of them fighting stormtroopers that are decked in a new black armor as a callback to shadow troopers. Meanwhile, Lupita Nyong'o and Billy D. Williams will also shoot a scene together within, within the month of Inside the Cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. Now, this is described as one of the major battles in Episode 9 that will be a rather lengthy one than ever before in the sequels. Now, I wanted to go over a couple of parts here that really do pique my interest for this movie. So, this is going to be one of the bigger battles in the film that will also be the very beginning of the lightsaber duel between both Kylo Ren and Rey. Now, we do know that Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver are doing a lot of scenes during this month of December, going all the way into January. January. Now, these two months are going to be very, very important for the filming of Episode 9, as February will be the very end of principal photography before reshoots, of course, if they need to do that, of course. Now, with the whole entire thing with Finn, Poe, and Chewbacca actually working together as a group, going up against these new stormtroopers decked out in black armor. Honestly, this sounds like the Shadow Troopers. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Shadow Troopers, but they are a type of stormtrooper tier that were actually seen in Legends slash EU material that were somewhat brought back in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, where they were actually called Death Troopers. They were kind of redone in a way to kind of fit the storyline of Disney's version of Star Wars. Now, looking at Episode 9 specifically, apparently both Billy D. Williams and, of course, Lapita Nyong'o will be working together this month inside the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, having a scene together inside of the iconic ship of the Star Wars franchise, the Falcon itself. Now, this to me sounds great. Now, honestly, I think that these two actors all right, are going to work very well together. Both Lapita Nyong'o and Billy D. gotta say, they are great uh, actors when it comes to the Star Wars franchise so far. And I think that there's a lot of backstory that Lupita Nyong'o's character, Maz Kanata, is really going to tell in Episode 9. We do know that apparently one of the big stories in Episode 9 is going to be explaining the origin of the Skywalker lightsaber, how it got into the hands of Maz Kanata. And I honestly want to see more of that explored in this movie by J.J. Abrams. Now, let me go over the other piece once more, because the Daisy Ridley sequence with Adam Driver with the Knights of Ren, all right, the male actors in their 20s are codenamed the Knights. So they are back. They are back in action. We only got a little glimpse of them in The Force Awakens, and I couldn't be happier to hear that the Knights of Ren are coming back into play here for the final installment of the sequel trilogy. So looking at all of this, all right, everything is going to be paired together like this. We have Kylo Ren versus 
versus Ray with the Knights of Ren in the background going up against Ray's crew, which is, of course, we have Chewbacca, Poe Dameron, and Finn. They will be going up against the Knights, apparently, alongside with some of the stormtroopers known as the the shadow troopers if you will code name the shadow troopers because they're all decked out in black armor we can only assume that's what they are going to be unless they are going to be an upgraded version of the death troopers as seen in rogue one now the other thing is the sequence involving both Lando and, of course, Maz Kanata inside of the Millennium Falcon above, you know, in the skies above this entire battle that's actually taking place on the ground with lots of rubble and fire that will be used by pyrotechnics. I don't know about you guys, but this sounds like a very intense scene that's going to have a lot of destruction, a lot of death, a lot of losses and sacrifices. I think that the Knights of Ren aren't honestly going to live out of this sequence. I think that they're all going to die either by the hands of, let's say, you know, Finn, Poe, and Rey. All three of those characters going up against them at certain points in time. Anyways, guys, I would really love to hear what you have to say about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.